saying he's a military police. And he says, we've been sent footage before by military police and others, so I want this footage of them in briefings openly talking about gun confiscations. Now, that's now in the manuals that they're training to quarantine cities and towns and confiscate guns. We've had Navy SEALs on confirming it. We have the documents. We know that. But footage, not just in some Army manual, but footage could really, really hurt uh, the folks that are uh, trying to covertly prepare the military for basically civil war. Brian, uh, obviously, uh, you've got to go back in right now. Tell us as much as you can and how we get this footage, but describe it for us. Okay, so I was in a briefing with uh, FEMA. FEMA runs my old unit. I'm actually out now. I got out in September of this year. Uh, they were talking about suspension of the Constitution, Second and Fourth Amendment rights being taken away, and I openly asked him, uh, are we going to take guns? He says no, but he says they will. It's clearly on the video. They will. Talking about the FEMA guys with us. Um, so that's the gist of the video. You could, uh, I'm filming the floor because it kind of startled me when they said that they're going to suspend the constitution under martial law, which is pretty scary to me. Essentially, yeah, we pretty much at that time, your second amendment, all your rights, first amendment rights, pretty much everything is just, is that, that moment. So you said that uh, martial law suspends their Second Amendment. So would, I'm not going to, but would you say we would take weapons from people? Yeah, that's what they do. Yeah. That's what they do. But I'm, 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 I'm yes, saying I wouldn't agree with that either. I'm a second. I believe the Second Amendment. But okay. The sense of bringing a moment of martial law, we've lost all control. What am I saying? The military, when the military moves in on your street, they are now saying you have no more rights unless you're going inside your house. That's like the worst case scenario. Now. So I'm saying. When the, the way they're not looking at it, really, the guard is used, that's how it's going to be used. Yeah. So we're not, we're not going to be off on the street corner and like, hey, over here. Unless we're like, you're a system that's going to have to You're not going to be involved in a riot and not really have any authority to do it. No, you're not going to go knock on doors and be like, all right, I need a shotgun. Here. No. You're not going to go like go up to each house and say, well, they did that in Katrina, is why I'm asking. And if we're no. talking about shit hitting the fan, I'm not going to do it, but. They're not going to do that necessarily. Well, it's more or less like, hey, go in your house, shut up, stay there. That's that's. Okay. Because the reason I have martial law in place is it's the lowest situation. Like I said, I think we broke it down. You're, you're, there's, it's a last resort to change pretty much. Your last ditch effort to put that in order to that That's why they kind of got the car. Okay. Good question. They did that in the Twitter, right? They just don't want to take what people have done. Yeah. Which I think is bullshit, but. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>